today Kathy and I are going to talk about a topic shared with us by so many stories and it's something that both Sarah and Alina have already touched on but it's just one of those topics that is so incredibly broad and everyone can bring something to the table as far as it's concerned. I think a lot of our topics are like that but um, Kathy had said she feels like she has a lot to say about this topic and I realized that I do as well. So, you know, the more perspectives you can get about something, the better off you're going to be, I think. In any case, um, you know, I'm just going to be talking about eating disorders and how we dress. Um, this viewer was speaking about um, whether that means covering ourselves up like monks or people who go the other way around and expose a lot of themselves. Um, she is basically saying that even though she's fully recovered and at a healthy weight, she is at peace with her size, but she still covers up completely, and she thinks that it has to do with feeling vulnerable from past abuse, and she translates any flesh she, she sees in the mirror um, to fat. And she says, even now, I get half repulsed to see too much of myself, albeit skin and not fat. And that very last sentence of her message is the, the one thing that struck me the most. Um, because it's such a shame when you come so far and you have uh, come to terms with your body, your perception is no longer skewed, and you're actually happy with yourself, happy with a number or, you know, what have you, but you still don't really like to look at yourself in the mirror. It's easier in some respects to say to yourself, I am not a number, and to forget what the scale says, to forget what your clothing um, says to you on a label, but to still have to stand in front of the mirror every day and see yourself and not like what you see. Um, so basically, why do we cover up? And I think it's to hide, to feel safe, to hold on to something, and to feel comfortable. And to that I say, you can feel comfortable by finding something you really feel good in and wearing that. I mean, just think about it for a second. Do you have, like, that one great pair of jeans that is really comfortable, it fits you well, you don't feel like your skin hangs over it, you don't feel like it's too tight, they're not too loose, you just feel good in them and they're your favorite pair of pants? Um, and when you wear them, don't you feel better that day, mood-wise, just because you feel comfortable with yourself? And I just think that's so important to recognize that you want to feel good in what you're wearing, not necessarily dress for other people or dress to look at yourself in the mirror and, you know, love your appearance, think you're attractive, because all of that stuff will come if you can make yourself feel comfortable within your own skin. I mean, you know, it might take a couple hours in the store, you might want to bang your head against the wall a couple times, but, you know, take a, take a good friend for moral support or a good family member you're close to that you can do something like that with, and find something that really makes you feel good. Not something you think you're going to look attractive to the opposite sex in, or something that you want to impress people with. Just something that you really like on your own body, and if you feel comfortable in your own skin, you are 10 steps ahead of the game when it comes to feeling comfortable around other people. I mean, sure, clothing is a way to hide. Um, I think people, even without eating disorders, do do that. You know, clothing can be a very freeing, liberating thing. I mean, as far as fashion is concerned, or just as far as um, displaying yourself, putting your personality out there in a way that's on display, um, you know, using color, using lack of color, doing what you want, uh, showing what you want to show to the world. Um, you know, your, your face doesn't change, your body typically doesn't change, but your clothing can change on a daily basis, or more than one, once a day if you really want it to. Um, and along those same lines, uh, clothing can hide us and it can make us feel more comfortable in situations when we don't feel comfortable. It can um, be used sort of as control, keeping a certain situation under control because we can fool ourselves into thinking, you know, what I don't see isn't really happening and what others don't see isn't really happening. 
so we mask our bodies, we pretend that our bodies can be hidden, and it might work to some extent, but really, it's just a great form of avoidance. I just want to talk about um, dressing for your shape, because I think it's a load of crap. <laughs> On one hand, I, I know that sounds a little harsh, but you have to hear me out, because, you know, you, you see all these magazines, you see all these shows on TV, and they want to dress people for their shape, which is great. It, it's a great thing to want to make someone feel good exactly as they are, to find clothes to fit the body and not make the body fit the clothes. I completely stand by that statement. However, we still tend to have these shape classifications. We have these very specific categories, pear-shaped, um, triangular-shaped, boy-shaped, you know, it's just like, it, it, it's so interesting because, I mean, as much as I don't want to be a number, I don't want to be a shape either. I mean, you know, I don't even know what shape I am. <laughs> it's just, it's just a little ridiculous. I mean, I don't think we have to go that far. Let's just say we're going to find clothes to fit our bodies. We're not going to make our bodies fit clothes. And, you know, we're going to try to find things that make us feel good and that will look good on us because we all have different bodies. And I think that's great, but I don't like the magazines that, you know, have all these different shapes, like boy shaped, spark plug shaped, like, they, you know, they really have these strict classifications. And you could flip through eight different body types and think, well, I don't fit into any of those categories, and how's that going to make you feel? You're going to think, well, nothing, none of those clothes are going to look good on me, you know, I'm not going to be able to find anything at the store. And I mean, I just... I want you all to know that you don't have to be a freaking shape and um, you know I don't think of myself as a shape and I try to dress in things that I feel pretty in or you know if I'm if I want to be colorful one day you know I'll wear really colorful clothing if I want to be feminine I'll wear feminine clothing um, you know we can we can use our inner beauty to our advantage and put that on our outside, but, you know, we don't have to keep classifying ourselves. I mean, what is this classification stuff all about? I don't think it's necessary. In fact, I think it's hindering. And I know that all eating disorders are not um, solely the products of body image problems. Um, I know that, and it was not entirely the case for me as well. I mean, it was a lot about control and, and other things in my past, but um, you know, body image does play a part when you're trying to feel good about yourself again and, you know, maybe you've gained weight, maybe you've lost weight, maybe you're just trying to feel comfortable um, at the weight that you are and trying to embrace that. And, you know, if you're, if you're finally okay with the number and you're finally okay with the clothing size and then people want to put you as a shape, you know, it's, it's not going to help. <laughs> so just want y'all to know you're not a number, you are not a shape, and you are a person, a very, very beautiful person, and there are clothes out there that are going to make you feel good. You just have to bother to look for them, and if you're not the kind of person that loves to shop, which, oh, you know, a lot of us don't like to shop simply because of all these rules um, and numbers, but, um, it, you know, go shopping and make a day of it and get things that you feel good about and then you know you'll be done with it for a while you'll be done with it for a year or you know however long you you want to wait to go back out into the mall and and do some shopping but you know it's it's something that you can actually uh, appreciate so okay everyone um thanks for watching and i hope this was helpful have a great week